Hi there, I'm Ben, and welcome to my all-in-one guide for the Master Hunter challenges from Red Dead Redemption 2. In this video, I'll look at each challenge in turn and give you some tips on how to complete them. As with all the challenge groups, you need to complete a challenge fully before the next one will become available. As you can imagine, all of these challenges involve killing animals in one way or another. There's nothing too difficult here, you're just going to need quite a bit of patience to wait for certain animals to spawn. Completing the Master Hunter challenges is going to reward you with permanent health upgrades amongst other things. The full list of rewards is in the description below. Also, if you wish to skip to a specific challenge, there are timestamps in the description as well. Right, let's get on with them. We're starting off with a really easy one, Skin 3 Deer. You can find deer everywhere, but they're specifically concentrated around Rhodes and Ansberg. You don't need to kill them in any fancy way, so just get your rifle out and be done with it. Once they're dead, go and skin them. Do this three times and you're done. Next up is collect three perfect quality rabbit pelts. Before you even go looking for rabbits, you're going to need the varmint rifle, so go to your nearest gunsmith and buy it. Killing rabbits with this rifle is the best way to get perfect pelts. Small game arrows just don't seem to work. So that's the easy bit done. Next is finding three rabbits that will give you a perfect pelt. The quality of the pelt is down to the rabbit itself. It needs to be a pristine specimen. You can check the quality by locking onto an animal and checking its info. This is not so easy with rabbits as they are very fast, so just kill everyone you see. And you should see a lot of them, they are everywhere. West Elizabeth, Lemoyne, New Hanover, you just can't miss them. To increase your chances of a perfect pelt, I would also use Deadeye and go for headshots. I had the most success doing that. You have to kill an animal with one shot to get a perfect pelt too, so this is also another good reason for using headshots. Once you have killed and peeled three perfect rabbits, it will be on to the next challenge. The third challenge is track ten different species using your binoculars. This challenge will involve moving around quite a bit. It's going to improve your chances of finding ten different species. They all have to be animals that can actually leave a track too, so birds won't work here. To track an animal, you'll first need to equip your binoculars from your items wheel. Then, focus onto an animal. You may need to zoom in or even move up if it's too far away. Also, if it's a new species to you, you'll need to study it first. Once all of this is done, you should be able to see a track prompt in the bottom right. Hold this down to start tracking it, and that's all you need to do. Don't worry about actually following it. You can cancel it afterwards and then move on. The animals I used were boar, wolf, deer, rabbit, squirrel, badger, fox, elk, pronghorn and raccoon. All of these can be found in New Hanover and West Elizabeth quite easily. The fourth challenge is call an animal and get a clean kill five times. This is a little bit misleading at first glance, you don't need to buy an actual call or anything. You just need to whistle at an animal to get its attention before killing it. There will be a prompt to do this while aiming at the animal. On the PlayStation it's square and on the Xbox it will be X. The second part of the challenge is to get clean kills. This means one hit kills, so headshots are perfect for this. Use Deadeye as well to help you hit your target. I use Pronghorn as I found a massive herd of them in Northwest West Elizabeth. You could also use Deer. You want something that's a nice big target but still goes down with one shot. If you're hunting bigger game, make sure you use a rifle or high velocity rounds. The fifth challenge is skin three black or grizzly bears. Bears are quite rare, especially the grizzly variety, but with a bit of luck and searching in the right places, this shouldn't be too hard. The best place to look for bears is around Moonstone Pond, which is north of Emerald Ranch and west of Ansberg. You'll find both black and grizzly bears there. Another good place to look for both of them is just west of Wallace Station. Black bears are also quite prevalent in northwest West Elizabeth. Using your horse can be quite handy when looking for predators as it will start reacting to them before you can see them. Also keep an eye out for red dots on the minimap too. Don't forget you have to kill and skin the bears. Do this three times to complete the challenge. The sixth challenge is to kill five cougars with your bow then skin them. This challenge is going to take some patience. Cougars are rare and only seem to spawn in a couple of very specific spots. Northwest of Strawberry, near the edge of the map, is a trapper. The cougars spawn southeast of him near the road. They also seem to spawn northwest of Ansberg around the area with the Jewel River crossing. Both of these areas are shown in this video. If you finish the story and have access to New Austin, you can also find them south of Tumbleweed. The more reliable of the first two locations is the one northwest of Strawberry. I got one to spawn straight after another by sleeping for a while in between. This doesn't seem to work all of the time, but going between the two spawn points, Strawberry and Ansberg, seems to be enough time for a new spawn to happen, so I would advise that you do that. 
Cougars are quick, so like bears, I would advise looking for them while on your horse. They'll give you an early warning when one is around. When you spot one, get off your horse before you're thrown off and jump straight into Deadeye and aim at its head. Remember these have to be bow kills, I'm using poison arrows, but normal ones will work just as well if you're going for the head. Once you've killed them, don't forget to skin them, there are two separate objectives within the challenge, one for killing and one for skinning. Challenge 7 is to use bait to lure and kill a predator and a herbivore consecutively. I'm not entirely sure what it means by consecutively, but just to be safe, lure and kill a predator, then lure and kill a herbivore. Don't kill anything else in between, that's how it reads to me anyway. To complete this challenge, I use the same location as I got the cougar kills northwest of Strawberry, near the edge of the map. Firstly, there's a trapper there, so you can buy the bait that you need. Secondly, there's a larger variety of animals in that area. Obviously first, you're going to want to go and see the trapper and buy yourself some herbivore and predator bait. Next, go and lay the predator bait and go and wait in a bush. You'll more than likely attract a fox or a coyote, but you may even get a cougar to show up. Bait needs to be used where animals are. You can't lay it in a town and expect them to come to it. For that reason, it might help to actually look for your target, then move away from them a bit and lay your bait there. You won't have as long to wait for them to come to it either. Once you've killed your predator, go and do the same for your herbivore. There should be plenty of deer in this area. Number eight is catch three small fish without using a fishing rod. This one is nice and simple. You can do this anywhere where there are small fish, but I did it using the pier on the northeast shore of Flat Iron Lake. I know there are small fish there and standing on the pier gives you a better view of them. There are a few ways you can catch fish without using a rod, with a pistol, a bow, or dynamite if you want to make things a bit more exciting. Use the ripples on the water to locate the fish, then jump into dead height so you can see them clearly. After you've killed them, you're going to have to jump in the water and actually go and get them as well for it to count. Catch three small fish this way to complete the challenge and move on. Number nine is to kill an opossum playing possum. To get this one done, I use the same location of the cougars. I seem to find quite a few opossums up there. It's northwest of Strawberry near the trapper. You might get lucky and see one wandering around, but there is something you can do to increase your chances of finding one. Kill other animals. Opossums are scavengers and feed off dead animals. I created a little triangle of animal corpses in the area and kept moving around between them to see if one turned up. If you have no luck doing this, sleep for a while, preferably until morning, then go and check the carcasses again. This may take a bit of patience, but one will turn up eventually. When you spot one, run over to it and it will play dead, or possum if you like. Kill it while it's doing this to complete the challenge. The final Master Hunter challenge is find and kill the legendary panther Guiaguaro. It'll be a miracle if I said that right. From here on out, he'll be known as the panther. The panther can be found east of Braithwaite Manor in Lemoyne. When you approach the right area, a question mark will appear. This is the first of three clues to its whereabouts. Use Deadeye to spot the clue and follow the trail until you find the third one, a dead sheep. At this point, call your horse over. If you continue on foot, you'll more than likely die. This thing is very fast. Also, make sure your Deadeye is topped up before continuing. You're going to need it. Ride out into the field ahead and keep an eye on your minimap for a red dot to appear. Once you spot the panther, jump into Deadeye and tag its head as many times as you can. It will take four or five direct hits to kill it. And that's it. Like I mentioned earlier, the full prize list is in the description. I hope you found this guide helpful. I'm doing one of these videos for each of the challenge groups, so check them out if you need help elsewhere. Like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. What?